In today's video, Andy and I are meeting up for one last ride before he heads back to North Carolina. We decided to check out the awesome city of Dubuque, Iowa. Our first stop is the Proving Grounds, located minutes north of downtown Dubuque along the Mississippi River. The Proving Grounds is a relatively new trail center. The land was donated by the John Deere Tractor Company, which sounds about as Iowa as you can possibly get. The property is located on 137 acres with a great mix of rolling hills, dense forest, and chunky limestone. Near the start of the trails, they have a really awesome skills section that was a lot of fun to play around on. Unusual for the Midwest, we noticed that the trail map featured a double black diamond called Scrape Rock Wall, and we decided this was the obvious place to start our day. Scrape Rock Wall is highly technical, and what I mean is I actually doubt that many people can clean the whole trail. Between the difficulty and some bike problems I was experiencing earlier in the day, I didn't film much in this direction, but at the end of the video, I'll show you guys what it looked like going the opposite direction. See this cool shot I'm going for? So you'd be able to ride it. How's it? That's as far as we're going. <laughs> Woo! Can't even walk this. Hot Start is the Proving Grounds jump line. It's rated as a blue trail, and I'd say it's very safe and exciting for all skill levels. It did have a couple features that could be tweaked to increase the speed and flow, and like all jump lines, I wish it was a little bit longer. But overall, the trail is really fun, and it's the one we spend the most time riding. Drop and Catch was a really interesting trail. It's a black diamond run that had a little bit of everything, including a little bit more pedaling than we'd expected. It really reminded me of a full-on enduro race trail. The start is fast and jumpy with decent flow, and near the end it gets a little bit more technical with tighter corners and some chunky rock sections that will definitely be smashing some rims and shredding some tires. Rock chunk, that cool. And this hurts. Kind of a pedally trail. This part is sketchy. Oh man. And I dabbed. So that's that. Nice. All right. We went up this last time.
So like I said in the beginning, we rode scrape rock wall in both directions. In this direction, you get more descent, which is great. However, you still pay for it in the end of the trail, where the climbs are punchy and steep. Whoa! That one almost got me. <laughs> Hitting some of the tight switchbacks were a total blast. I like it when the trail is steep and loose, so this really did it for me. One thing that might not be as evident in the video footage is how disastrous it would be to fall off the main line. The entire trail feels like it's on a limestone cliffside, so the incentive to not fall or make mistakes is pretty high. Ooh, this is kind of sketchy. So sharp. Oh my god. Screw that up. You want to try going up this again? <laughs> I talk a lot of shit in our videos for somebody who doesn't actually attempt half the shit. Oh man. I think the trail stops being fun in this direction. Currently air and sealant leaking out of my tire at a pretty good rate. All right, so got most of the sealant to stop leaking. Hopefully it's good enough to finish out this trail. Do it. Ooh, that is a loose rock. This was stop one of our Dubuque, Iowa day trip. In the next video, we will be heading 25 minutes south to ride the Interstate Power Preserve trails. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. What do you see down there? Well, we're almost to Iowa, but turns out we're on another planet. That still has dinosaurs, good news. <laughs> Aliens have landed and they brought the dinosaurs with them. <laughs>